Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So the first few photos are going to be pictures that I found of like quilted style nails and I kind of really like this look. So I thought we would give it a go in today's video. Um, these are a few that I saw and I was like, oh, they're kind of nice. Um, it was the Courtney Crosby one that caught my eye initially. So those are just some that I've seen. So, um, hi. <laughs> We're going to be using Madame Glam Gel polishes to do this. We're only using two, actually. So we're using Sublime Elegance, which is this sort of glittery, purpley one. And we're using Light Lilac. I really like this one. I think I've used these before. They're kind of like my go-to purpley colours. The, um, look, this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like, it's, it's not, it's, I don't even know then. It's not like glitter. It's like flakes in it but it's really, really nice. So to start with, you're gonna ap apply one coat to the nail and then you're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. Look how pretty that is. And then you're gonna go in with your second coat and then cure that for 30 seconds. Doesn't this scream Cadbury's chocolate? Oh, it makes me want Cadbury's chocolate now. <laughs> it looks good enough to eat. Okay, so now we've got our base down, we're going to go over with Madame Glam's non-wipe top gel, which is just going to smooth out, not that, this is a, not that the surface is very rough or anything, but it's just going to smooth out the surface and give us a nice base to work on. So we're going to need this light lilac. I'm going to put a little bit on my palette. Now you can do the next bit with a dotting tool or a detailer brush. I'm going to use my detailer brush. What we're going to do is we're going to start by creating some diamonds. So I'm just going to put a blob on and then I'm going to just work out slightly from the top, the bottom and each side. And then I'm going to join the lines up to create a diamond shape. You could do it square. I think it looks better more of a diamond, like more elongated than square. But I mean, it's entirely up to you. You can do whatever shape you want, as long as it's kind of like this. And then I'm gonna just flash cure that for 10 seconds in my LED lamp, just so that, that it doesn't start like wibbling, wibbling, so that it doesn't start like moving around everywhere as I do the other diamonds. So each diamond I do, I will flash cure for 10 seconds. And you want to leave roughly about like a millimeter gap between each diamond so that you get to see some of the um like here you can see some of the sublime elegance underneath um and just fill up the whole nail and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over the top with one more coat well yeah one more layer on the diamond just it just gives it that little bit more height so you can see here, it just it just like heightens it a little bit. And I'm only gonna do the diamonds that, I'm only gonna do the full diamonds on the nail. I hope that makes sense, not the ones that are coming off the nail. Then I've just wiped over with some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just, just to wipe off the sticky layer and I'm not gonna do anything else with it now. Um, these little crystals are from Nail Sugar. These are the purpley ones, so they're not really that purple. Um, and I'm using my Crystal Totalist Gem Glue from Nailchemy. I'm just going to put a little blob between each diamond where I want the crystals to go. And once you've done that, don't cure it or anything because... Oh, there's a little hair there. Right, we're going to take the crystals. I'm taking the smallest crystals I can find in that pack. They are mixed sizes. So we're going to take the smallest ones and we're gonna put them onto the gem glue. There we go, so you can kind of see, it's just starting to, the, the colors, you kind of do lose them a little bit, but every now and then, like when you move it, it just catches the light. I just think it's like a nice little touch. So I, I really quite like this. If you wanted to, you can go back over the uh, diamonds with non-wipe top coat. It's entirely up to you. I just didn't think it was worth it because there's, I don't know, there's like, yeah, I just thought it would be okay without. But if you wanted to, you can. 
Um, so this nail, um, what are we doing on this nail? So we're going to apply two coats of the light lilac. Um, each coat is cured in the lamp for 30 seconds. Isn't that just the most gorgeous colour? I absolutely love that. Oh, if you could see it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go over with a matte top coat. I don't actually have Madame Glam's own top coat. So I haven't actually tried it, I don't think. Um, maybe I'll have to get one at some point to give it a go. Um, but you need a matte top coat. Make sure it's all covered because you don't want shiny bits and matte bits. And there we go. So I'm going to leave, I think I leave that one like that. I just wanted to show you them together. I kind of was contemplating whether or not to matte top coat the diamonds, but I thought, no, I'll just leave them this time. So I'm going to go ahead on this nail. This is just going to be a full, like, sublime elegance nail. Um, two coats and then top coat. Look at the state of my, my tip holder. What the heck? That's filthy. There we go, so we're going to leave that one like that. This one, I've gone ahead and applied two coats of... Actually, I think I've done one because it covered really well. Um, but if you're doing it on a client, I would suggest putting two. We're going to take some of the gem glue. I haven't um, put any top coat on yet. We're going to put the gem, gem glue down. And we're going to put just three crystals. And they are going to get smaller as we go down. And I'm just going to take off that excess gem glue from the bottom. Um, just to, I did, didn't want like a lump of gem glue on that when I cured it. So that cures for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go over the rest of the nail with the matte top coat. I was, I was honestly prattling around for ages with that one. <laughs> So that's what it looks like once it's cured. The last nail, I decided that I was going to do a kind of like a glittery fade. Um, I think I only put one coat of this on again because the coverage was really nice. But if you're doing it on a client, you may need to put two coats on. Then I'm going to take the Sublime Elegance and we're going to put this over the top of the Light Lilac. I didn't put it down far enough the first go. I wasn't sure how far it would stretch down the nail. I'm using my ombre brush. Uh, yeah, my ombre brush from Born Pretty. And I'm just gonna slow. Oh my God, is that my glasses? Yeah, look, I oh, know it's not. What is that? What is that in the, in the... Oh, I know what it was. It's my, it's my, my gem pusher my gem picker oh, that's really weird i must be leaning on it or something <laughs> so anyway um this fade wasn't the best fade in the world but to be honest i kind of got to the point where oh i don't really care <laughs> and i know that's not the attitude to have um i was just like oh that'll do see i was like i got there and i was like oh that'll do <laughs> so pop it in the lamp and then go over with your top coat um, by the way, if you do want to get 30% off Madam Glam, you can use code NATMUG30. I will leave it in the description box and it will obviously be on the screen as well. So these are the nails finished. I'm going to give you a quick close-up. I think they're really, really pretty. I hope you liked them. Um, if you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget I'm doing a nail sugar glitter folder giveaway. So make sure you get involved with that. How nice are they? Ta-da! Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I will try and upload tomorrow. Um, I, ha I haven't been uploading on a Wednesday during the holidays. But I will try and do it tomorrow anyway, just so that you've got a video. And yeah, I will see you guys, if not tomorrow, Thursday. But hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, bye!